Chris here for Tank and Tank and welcome to the channel. Well, today we will learn how to make a one click restart or shutdown button in Windows 10. So let's get started now. In today's video, I will guide you through in a few simple steps how to create a one click button to initiate a shutdown or a restart for Windows 10. Both actually, but we will also learn how to make a restart or a shutdown shortcut you can leave on your desktop too. We will start here on the desktop in an empty space. A right click like so. Then on this pop-up menu down to new here at the bottom. Once we reach new, you see the pop-up. You click on create shortcut here. Once you are in the shortcut, you can copy and paste this. It will be in the description down below in number four. Once you are done that, you can click on next. This is done. Here, you can rename this, whatever you want. I will rename that turn off PC. Like so. Then I will simply press enter or click on finish. Once this is done, know that if I double click here, this will be operational and turn off my computer. But we want to do more. Now you have this, you do a right click again. Then you go down to property here at the bottom. This is done. Once we are here, make sure you are in the shortcut tab here. And we go to change icon. It's the one in the middle down here. You can open file location if you know which icon you want. But for us, we will click this. Once we will click this, you will see there is a warning. It's normal. Don't worry, here you can press enter or OK. I press enter for myself. And now you can select whichever icon you wish from the window here. You can see, you can scroll left, right, all right. And you can select whatever you want. Since it's a shutdown, why not? Let's go and enjoy the world. Once you've done that, you can see I press the OK button. Now you need to go down here and press the apply. Once I do that, you will see this will change. There it is. You can click on OK once here, right? We've done that. Here you have two ways how to do it. You can do a right click here and go down here on the pop-up menu. Go down into pin to taskbar. You can see it is here. Or, if you don't want it, you can unpin. The second way to do it is to drag it. And you put it in here. So, if I press in here, once only, it will shut down the PC. Alright. Now, for the restart, we do the same. I did a right click. I go to new. I put a shortcut. Please do copy for the restart as well. It will be in the description down below and paste here. The reason why I do so is if you write it wrongly, let's say I do like this, and you press next, this is what you get, a warning, an error message. Right, so simply copy and paste. It yeah, avoid you any trouble. You simply have to press enter. You rename this to restart, for example, like so. And then you can press enter. We do the same for the restart. I go here, a right click, properties, make sure I'm under the shortcut tab here, go to change icon or open the file location if I know where it is. This, it's normal. I press OK and I think the one I want is around here. No, nope. maybe I should go slowly. Ah, there it is. This one here, right? As you can see, apply, ta-da, and I press OK. So I put this one here. All right. Now, one thing to note, if you want to enjoy the shortcut with the keyboard, make sure that it is in between 1 and 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 9 here, <laughs> right? Because you can press only the window key to call the shortcuts here from 1 through 9 only. You can do, you cannot do 10, right? Because as soon as you press 1, you will go back here. So if you want those to be very handy and fast for you and using the keyboard shortcut, remember this in between 1 through 9. Or you can simply press one time here. Once we've done that, you can select this and delete them. Or you can leave them on your desktop. Note that if you leave them on your desktop, it will take a double click. Also, some of you may have noticed that there is a shutdown.exe here that I named strangely and can access when I do a right click on the desktop. You might be wondering why. Well, having this shortcut provides a quick way 
to shut down Windows 10 if your computer isn't responding normally. Although we just learned another way to do it, this one requires you to edit the registry. That is why I did not include this in this video. But if there is a request in the comment for it, I will be happy to do another video for that. And then you're good to go. We can close this and do your stuff. Great, you made it so far. You can now let me know in the comment down below if this was helpful to you. That is it for today. And just to let you know, I started the Patreon where you can support me for future videos. May you wish so. And again, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. You can do your YouTube things like if you want to. Subscribe, you may as well. Or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so. I will try to improve for you guys. Stay safe and bye now!